welcome to the next video in the series AZ300 and uh, here we are going we are still in the deploy and configure infrastructure module which is a very big one and today we are going to talk about the action group which is very important part of monitoring and alerting that you will come to know so let's start action groups okay so action groups well action groups enable you to configure a list of actions to take when the alert is triggered an action group ensures the uh, same action are taken each time the alert is triggered All right so action group is something which uh, which will uh, which is needed to notify someone like this is happening or that is happening inside the environment it is more like if somebody uh, deleted your VM or shut down your VM uh, alert would trigger it but action will be something where you want to send the notification a, a notification it could be an email it could be a voicemail or it could be an automated action as shown here in the slide, uh, uh, the type of actions, because when we configure action groups in the portal, it, it says actions. So it could be email, it could be logic app, webhook, IT service management, that is a ticketing tool, a function is a serverless, uh, or it could be automation runbooks. So uh, these are the notifications and this is the uh, link where you can go and read about it if i click here uh, it would open this page where you can go ahead and have a good read about the action groups all right well azure monitor and service health alerts use action groups to notify users that an alert has been triggered so I hope you understand now what is action group and to make it uh, more easy for you guys to understand let me go ahead and hit next the demo is something which actually help us to relate and help us to understand so let's go ahead and create the action group here okay so this is the portal I have the snippets with me and this is the portal you just need to go click here which is which will provide you the menu and you need to hit the Azure monitor once you hit the Azure monitor you will see this page once you hit the alert inside the Azure monitor you can see I have marked or encircled Azure monitor and alert we have this pane there then you click on manage actions and once you hit here we would have the page to create action groups click on the add action group option you would have all the uh, informations that you need to fill for the action group for example here I have given the name group one uh, a short name a subscription or a select the resource group where you want to place this now here these are the action type that I was talking about the means of sending the notifications it could be email it could be automated task or anything like that so uh, for this example I have uh, used email to make it easy and I gave it a name of this action email me I have given the I have selected the email once I select the email it gives us uh, another window where we can go ahead and type uh, the email address where we want the notification and once you put your email address and once you put your email address in the action group where you want to receive the alerts Microsoft sends you an emails stating this email has been registered to receive the triggers or the notification that's how it looks like you can see on the screen 
now once we hit the save it would show like this the group one remember I gave the name to the action uh, it's a group one then we have action the kind of action we it's an email one I have put I have uh, mentioned my email address so I would have received the email in case the alert is triggered all right so this is what the action group is it's very simple it's nothing biggie so when we go ahead and talk about alerts in our next video you would have all the ideas so as of now I'm pretty sure you have a pretty good idea about action group and why we need it because any triggered if there is any any condition that you have fulfilled for the alert it would come to your email address or it might trigger an automated action all right thank you guys I hope you learned something today and let's meet in the next video thank you